Hey guys, and welcome back to Tamer Battles, and today we are at the Dark Moon Fair, and we are going to beat up uh, Jeremy here. So let's get right into the battle and get this done as quickly as possible. So you need a Dark Moon Fairy game token thingy mobarber for this, and this guy is using the Dark Moon Eye or Dark Moon Fairy Eye or whatever you want to call it. He is also using the Dark Moon Tonka Truck thing which is mechanical and we are also well he is also using the dark moon fairy monkey which is a beast type and has a lot of damage so my team for this is the emerald protodrake because it has dragon attacks and dragon attacks are strong against magical peeps and this guy is a magical peep so we're going to kick his ass with some magic damage and for the Tonka truck, we have our Felfium in here because elemental types just destroy mechanical people. So we have him in and we also have our Fluxfire Feline, which does crap tons of damage to any beast type that gets in his way. So let's get underway with the battle and to start things off, I think we will use a liftoff attack, which is called the Pro Strike in this. And my damage reduction has been done by 20%. That's never good. But oh, he dodged as well. No. So this is not a good start for us. And our speed is less and our damage is less. So boo hoo hoo. And we will continue on attacking. Now I think we're going to heal up here. Just to get a quick heal. Because I don't like him doing too much damage to me. And I don't want to die. Because that is never good. And we will get some more damage done to him. And... Fuck it, we'll finish him off with another burn attack, or breath attack. And that is how they easily beat this uh, Dark Moon Fairy's eye. And oh no, it's a Tonka truck. And because I think he's going to use his lock on ability straight away, I think I'm going to use my fly up ability. And nope, he did not. He used a missile attack. And then he used shock and awe, and it missed. So. Let's see, what are we going to use now? We are going to switch out and bring out our big fell flame. Now this guy has the power to kick everybody's ass. First we're going to use a scorched earth, which means every person in the active field is burning. And with that we will use conflagrate, because conflagrate does double damage to people that are burning. And as you can see, 1000 damage straight off. That is the Tonka truck dead, but he comes back to life because he's a mechanical person, and we will finish him off with a burn attack. Yep, he is now finished off, and as you can see, we still got crap tons of HP left. And what we're going to use next is another burn attack, because he will use his stun attack, and stun attacks suck. But next we are going to bring out our feline familiar. And everybody knows how good the feline familiar is. And if you don't, go get yourself one. And then you'll soon see how good this bad boy is. Right, first off, we're going to use our supercharged ability, which stays on us until we attack. And it does an extra 150 damage. And now we are going to wind ourselves up. And next go, this guy is going to unfortunately die. I might actually die here too. I might die. But we're going to use our wind up ability and... 2,800 damage. Um, is there is there any more I need to say about that? That he just he died big time. Now that's that's probably the biggest attack I've ever seen. 2,800 is a hell of a lot. It will one shot every single pet in the game, regardless. And let's see what we get on our Dark Moon Furries thing. Absolutely fuck all. So that was never good. And I thought I would get this done before the fair ends, which it ends tomorrow. So I thought I might as well get this video out and done. And I don't know if I'll release it today or if I will release it on Monday. It will all be dependent. And this guy has a feline familiar. And it's such a beautiful little pet. But I've been the Bulo guys and I will see you all later.